Hey guys, it's Greg Beer Review. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews. This is the last one of the beers that Mark sent me from the BelgianBeerStation.com. This is a vintage 2007 edition of the, I'm probably going to butcher this up, I'm not sure if it's, if it's Goose or Goose. This is the Mariage Parfait, coming in at 8% alcohol by volume. On the back here it's got the date uh, of Best Buy, uh, this is written very tiny letters. It's got 15092030. So, and then on each other, it's got 112759L0258. So, uh, not exactly sure, but I know it's a 2007 edition. And the lambics and the gouzes and the sour and tart beers are actually not my cup of tea. Uh, that's why I had uh, this one actually got uh, got wet, and the labels all screwed around here. That's why I tried to. Put this up there so y'all can see what the label looks like when it's not all wrinkled up. Uh, the beer, the beer, as far as I know, uh, I'm not sure if it's distributed in the United States or if we can get this over here. Uh, I haven't done enough research to find out. The uh, the beer is refermented in the bottle, so when they uh, when they before they put the cork and stuff in there, and there's a little more sugar is added to so the I think they use Brett Brett yeast on this, so uh, should be fairly interesting beer. The uh, the beer like I can say is eight percent year round serving from them, and they're out of Alembic, Belgium. Food pairings: cheeses of the buttery breed of Gouda, Havarti, Swiss, Sharp Blue, Cheddar, your more pungent cheeses, even Gorgonzola and Limburger. The glassware is a flute, snifter, tulip, stain, cylinder. Uh, I've got the Juvenile Glass guys. Uh, and this beer can be cellar. It's 8%. And this is a no 7. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This is 5 years old already. So I can't wait. Let's see what this one's about. Let's get this thing um, corked. Let's see. Uh, see if this is going to be to my liking. I'm. I, Oh, it's, that cork's coming out. Here it comes. I ain't got to even twist it. It's coming out. Without, you take the cage off of it, it's, it's coming. Look at your smoke. That's a marvelous. That smell, that aroma. Wow. That smell is unbelievable. I don't know if I've ever smelled anything like that before. It is like a old wet barnyard funk. Wow. And I'm, I'm getting some some green green apples. Wow, the aroma is impressive. Now the head's already died down. Let me get over to the light here. Very, very carbonated. A lot of bubbles streaming up from the bottom. Very, uh, very. It is cloudy. It is. It is there. I, I can. I cannot see through there. So you definitely tell it's bottle conditioned again or refermented in the bottle. Looks very tangerine-y. Very, very IPA-like, but definitely does not smell like an IPA. smells tart and citrusy and I get green apples. I was getting a, a very strong aroma of the, the barnyard pump when I first got the cork out of the bottle. It subsided a little bit but it's still there. Very interesting.
Very strange. I don't think I've ever had anything quite uh, that, that aroma. So uh, we'll see what this brings. Uh, Mark, cheers, buddy. I appreciate the beers that uh, were sent over. Uh, I think this is the last one out of the package. Uh, I'm hoping uh, we're generating some revenue for you. So anybody that uh, wants to get some of these uh, Belgian beers, uh, give Mark a shout over at BelgianBeerStation.com and he'll fix you up. Cheers, everybody. Well, that is tart. Definitely, the funk is a tartness. That's pretty awesome beer, really. I could learn to like this. But it is so tart. Wow. This would have to be a special occasion beer for me, really. Because it is just so tart and funky. Definitely an acquired taste as far as I'm concerned. I haven't drank enough of these to appreciate them yet. Or do that my palate. Accept them. Because it is, it is like, it is like super tart. Wow. Well, I'm going to sit here and sip it all right in front of me. Guys, this is right out of the fridge. We're going to let it warm up just a tad. And let's go and have a taste it and see what she thinks of it. And we'll be right back. We'll do the final chug on this one. Stick around. I'll be right back. All right, guys. I'm back. Got just a little left. Maybe just a little bit more than a little bit. Let me hit this one one more time. Very, very tart. Granny Green Apples tart. According to what I've read, this is 100% spontaneously fermented. And then, it's re-fermented in the bottle again when they put the cork in it. So, uh, very, very tart. A bit on the funky side. I get a little, just a little bit of spiciness there. Not a lot. It's, 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 it was very carbonated, you know, and you see it was pushing the cork out. That's why they have to do that. Them things will be blowing off everywhere. <clears throat> I've not seen a whole lot of them that'll push the cork out like that, but that one definitely. As soon as the cage was released, the cork started coming out. I mean, they just sat there. I guarantee you it would have blown it off if we would have set it there and just let it sit there. It would have pushed it completely on that. Follow you guys. Right off the top, it is, I'm going to say it's definitely not my style. I'm not into the Lambics, the Sours, or the real tart beers. But this was pretty enjoyable. Uh, I have to say, and, and the other half said the same thing. The first initial sip, it grabs your tongue and just... <clears throat> but then, once you take the second sip and the third sip, it's, it's, it's more pleasant. It's more enjoyable, guys. Uh, had no evidence of the 8% alcohol. Uh, it's very, very well hidden. Like I said, this is a 2007 edition. This beer is five years old. So, uh, well, it was a very, very pleasant experience. And like I said, uh, I could learn to like this beer real easy if it was available here and at a reasonable price. But like I said, this has been, this has been, this is a vintage. This is five years old, so I enjoyed this. Uh, Mark, I appreciate you sending this, uh, send this over to me. So, guys, if y'all would like to try some of this, uh, give Mark a shout. He can ship it to you. Uh, guys, as far as I'm concerned, not my style, but it's an A beer. So I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. That's what I think of the beer, and it's not my style. The, uh, the rate beer ratings is 98 overall and a 51 in the style. And Beer Athens comes up with a 91, so they're way up in the 90s on this, and which is an exceptional on their ratings. So, pretty tasty beer, guys, uh, especially one that's been uh, uh, cellared for five years. So I don't know what it would be like on a fresh bottle, but this one was pretty damn tasty, guys. So if you've had this beer, give me some comments back on this one. And I don't know if, uh, if, it's, if it's available here in the U.S., guys, give me some comments back on that. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, hit the like button if you like it. T-shirt's there. Open is there. See y'all tomorrow. Good looking to friends.